Hey everyone, it's Dominic the Primetime Treasure Hunter. Thanks for coming by to check out another video. I am parked with the Primetime Treasure Mobile right outside of the local flea market. It's Sunday morning about 8.30. So we're gonna go take a look around and see if we can find any treasures. You know, I was looking through this lot of uh, paper items and came across these NBA photos, these NBA action photos. I used to have this one when I was a kid. They're still sealed and everything. Uh, we got Wade Boggs here for uh, baseball. Also have some uh, other basketball ones and a New York Mets one too, which is pretty cool. Uh, still sealed and everything, but surprisingly, the comps on these are terrible. They just don't sell. So I'm just gonna move past them. These used to be all vendor spots and they're not anymore. Lots of fruits and vegetable stands are popping up and stuff because most people are not setting up selling inventory anymore as the summer is coming to a close. So there's a few interesting things here I'm taking a look at and uh, we'll try to bundle together. This is a great one here. This uh, Barbarella is really nice. This is from 1966 and it is a first printing. So value on something like this would be around 30 something something in the 30 range high 20s maybe uh, there's a bunch of star wars and star trek stuff i always like this pac-man book if i could find it unfortunately it's colored on the back and here's some uh smaller digest comics on the other end. Cool poster. It's uh, from Scholastic in 1979. So that's neat. Pretty good shape just to be laying out like this. This I don't really care about because the person who's going to want this is... Uh, somebody who's gonna want to display it and is not gonna care about what's on the back. That's the kind of buyer I'm looking for for this. So these are pretty cool. These are punch out uh, plane and helicopter uh, sets. So you uh, assemble them, you know, put them together. I believe these came out in around the 1950s or so, maybe a little bit later, but there is a bunch of them. And if I could pick them up as a little lot, I think they would sell. I don't have solid comps on them. Uh, they don't come around too often. There's one person who has one up for like 13 bucks and uh, has a couple watchers on it, but no recent uh, completed sales because it just doesn't come up much. So uh, not bad. I was able to put a little bundle together. It did require a little bit of negotiation. I had to pull some things out. There were some things he was overvaluing. I even had to pull out my phone and show him that his prices were too high. I had to tell him that I'm a dealer. I'm not looking to buy these as a collector. And uh, that's how we were able to uh, make something work. So uh, what I wound up picking up was this Pac-Man book. I have found this many times. I've shown it in other haul videos. I do very well selling this one, usually for over $20, even with some coloring inside it. This one is worth uh, well over 20. Like I said, more towards the upper 20s, maybe even 30 bucks. Uh, these are very interesting. I'm not sure what's gonna happen with them, but I am going to bundle them together as a lot and see uh, how I do with them. We've got uh, this one here, uh, this one here, uh, a couple other ones I'll show you. They all just pop out and assemble. Uh, fortunately, none of them have been completely popped out, so uh, that's good. I did wind up picking up that uh, Hulk poster that you uh, saw earlier. So again, surprisingly a good shape for you know being from 1979 and laying out at a flea market. So that one right there, you know, 15, 16, 17 bucks for that one. And I always recommend picking up these how and why books. I sell them together in bundles all the time. So just pick them up, get them into a nice uh, little lot, like 10, 15, 20 bucks, sell them off and uh, you'll do very well. Check the comps on them, they do well. Uh, this Star Trek book he just threw in for me. Overall, got everything here for 20 bucks. Should get that back on one of the items and the rest will be profit. 
Okay, so I'm gonna head off and check out what some of the other vendors have to offer, but uh, just a quick little prime time tip here for you. I don't want that poster to get damaged and I don't want those pop-out toys to come out of their little slots. So uh, what do I do? Put them right inside this uh, bigger book here and that's gonna protect them all. So I've got the pop-out toys here and I've got the poster right there in the back. So that'll help out. Also want to be careful how you carry these things around. So uh, I have a bunch of bags that I just put things in and uh, it's all one little slot here that I've got it uh, situated in. And this will also keep it protected as I'm walking around the flea market. So just another little inside tip there for you. So that's it folks. Pickings are slow. Um, just this time of year. Plus there were people set up at an antique festival about 45 minutes to an hour away. So we're gonna head back to Primetime Treasure Headquarters and uh, see what else the day has in store for us. So stop by the grocery store, pick up a few groceries, and sometimes you'll see these carts that are stacked with these boxes. These are pretty much free for the taking. And you know, you can see here, they will make a nice size box. So don't worry that it says Beyond Burger on the outside of it or any of that stuff. Just pick it up, grab it, take it. You got some free boxes. They do not care, trust me an easy way to get free stuff. I was watching uh, Wade from Wade's Ventures on uh, Instagram and I saw that he purchased these so had to pick these up and give you a shout out Wade. <laughs> so I'm back at Primetime Treasure Headquarters and I want to show you something here with regards to these uh, fold out doors. These are solid wood doors. I picked them up after my regular full time job one day. Mrs. Primetime was looking on Facebook Marketplace and she saw that these were posted for $5. So I went, you could see here, hopefully they don't fall on me and kill me as I make the video. But uh, you could see here, they are solid of wood construction. There's uh, four of them total. And uh, she put it up today on Facebook Marketplace for 100. And she's already had uh, about 100 views on it within an hour. Someone's already written her expressing interest in it. They have to check measurements. You never know what these things, you know, if they're gonna pan out when someone makes an inquiry. But it's looking good so far that uh, we'll be able to make a nice uh, flip on these, again, for only five bucks. All I had to do is load them in the back of the Primetime Treasure Mobile, and uh, that was it. So I will update you uh, later on if this does sell. Hey resellers, it's Monday. I decided to take a day off and experience Skinny Atlas Lake in central New York. Just take a nice day off. You gotta do that every once in a while. Smell the roses. Hey everyone, change of shirt. It's Monday evening. Uh, normally I do the wrap up all in one day, but I had the day off today, so I figured, you know what, maybe I'll just uh, keep the video going in case anything interesting or exciting happens. Nothing too exciting happened. Um, I mostly just did some family activities. In terms of sales, I just made uh, this sale right here. It's uh, 44 um, comic books from Star Wars. They're random, just kind of scattered from you know, different series like C-3PO and Chewbacca and Darth Maul. They're just, just kind of random mixed lot. I sold them for 50 bucks. so. Happy, just get them out of here and um, you know make a nice uh, flip because these all came from collection that I had made my money back on. So I wanted to stick at that uh, dollar or more per comic price. I've told you about that before. I had the price higher originally, like $59.99, then I lowered it to $54.99. Then I got to $49.99. I had a bunch of watchers on it, like five or so, five or six, and I just basically shifted it from uh, best offer to buy it now and just leave it as buy it now. So take the best offer off. You got to do that sometimes to send a message to the watchers that you are not going to lower it anymore. So sometimes there's this um, you know, non-verbal communication that goes on uh, between the buyers and the sellers uh, based on how many people are watching and, you know, if you're going to keep an offer on or take it off. So it's important sometimes to convey that message. And sure enough, a day or two after I took that off, uh, took the offer off, it sold. So just a little tip there. Sometimes you have to do that. Don't always continuously lower the price 
below a point uh, that you're happy with. Uh, one other uh, important update is that we hit 7,000 subscribers this morning. So I really want to thank all of you for that. I'm super, super pumped up about that. Uh, channel continues to grow and expand. My goal at the end of this year was to hit 5,000 subscribers because we were at uh, two at the end of one year. My goal at the end of one year was 1,000 subscribers. So um, that's really good. The, you know, the achievements in the channel keep outpacing what I had set the goals for at the beginning of the year. Who knows, maybe we could hit 10,000 by the end of this year. That would be double of what I had expected. So just keep spreading the information about the channel uh, to others. If you like it, get them to like it and subscribe, that sort of thing. It's just going to, you know, get out there more through word of mouth. I think that's the most important thing. A um, couple other updates as well. The doors did not sell. We've had a ton of people asking about it, but right now it's very similar to eBay, by the way. When you have something kind of priced at the higher end, you know, people will express interest, kind of like how people will watch for a little bit and they kind of want to see, are you going to lower the price a little bit? So we'll see. Maybe Mrs. Primetime has it priced a little too high, so she may have to lower it a little bit, but at the end of the day, we're, we're definitely going to uh, do much better than the $5 that we paid for all four doors. So that's just a reminder if you're not doing local marketplace flips and looking for things on a local marketplace, you may just be able to pick something up for five bucks and then, you know, flip it for a lot more money in the same exact setting, like a Facebook marketplace or offer up or let's go something like that. Um, you know, be on the lookout for those types of things. The deep dish or deep dish pan uh, potato chips, they were pretty decent. They weren't bad. Um, you know, they weren't the most amazing things in the world. I always find when they try to, you know, put those flavors onto those chips that sometimes it's impossible to recreate a certain thing. Like how do you recreate a deep dish pizza taste onto a potato chip? It's just almost impossible, but they did, they did a pretty decent job at it if you're interested in those chips. Uh, so, uh, last two things in terms of programming notes, I have got, uh, the pure hustle podcast, uh, members that would be Mike and Orlando coming on my show. Uh, it's a live show Wednesday night at 9 PM Eastern standard time. And there's going to be a $70 Amazon gift card giveaway. So that is only for people who entered the giveaway. So you will know if you're watching this, if you entered it. So uh, tune in live. You have to be there. That's very important. You have to be there to win the prize or it's going to go to somebody else. Like what happened last time I did a giveaway, three people who entered weren't there and then it went to somebody else. In terms of uh, tonight, uh, if you're watching this the, the, on the uh, night I uploaded or the day that I uploaded it, which is going to be uh, Tuesday, um, this is going to be uh, a night where at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'm going to be on the Thrift Shop Hustlers uh, channel with Don, the auction professor, and we're going to talk about uh, balancing out work life, uh, reselling life, and family life. Uh, like I said uh, earlier, uh, you know, I spent a lot of time today just doing family things, enjoying the day off. It's real important. You have to balance those things out. So we're going to talk a lot about that during the, uh, during the show, Tuesday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Make sure you don't miss that. And uh, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, come to the Facebook group, the Facebook Reselling Resource Center. I've talked to you before about Support That Seller Sunday. The person, uh, Courtney Hayes, who I just recently interviewed, who I picked for that event, she made 31, uh, well, she, she sold 31 items for a total of $425 and change all in one day. That's part of being in the Facebook group. You get exposure to that and many other uh, fun seller support activities and other activities that are fun to take part in. It's all free. So the link to that is down below in the description section, as well as my Instagram account. That's at prime underscore time underscore treasure. I'll see you all back at the next video, everyone. Take care.